Hi there, in the last video we learned about model inheritance in Django and we learned about abstract models and multi-table inheritance. Now what we're going to do in this video is we're going to learn about a library called Django Model Utils. It has an inheritance manager that we're going to add to this project and we're going to see what that does and how it can help us. So our current setup has a question model which is the base class and we have two subclasses here that inherit from the question. And we're using multi-table inheritance now because the meta class of the parent does not have that abstract equals true. So therefore, the table's actually created in the database and each of the subclasses has a pointer to the parent. So check out the last video if you want to learn more on that. What we're going to do here is we're going to add this library. It's called Django Model Utils and it provides mixins and utilities for your Django models. Now, I commonly use this library for things such as the timestamped model, but what we're gonna work with in this video is this one here, it's an inheritance manager. So if we click through to that, we see that this manager should be attached to the base model class in a model inheritance tree. So right on the base model, which in our case is the question model here, we're gonna add this inheritance manager and we're gonna see what that can give us in a minute. So if we look at what this does, it allows queries on the base model to return heterogeneous results of the actual proper subtypes without any additional queries. Now that's quite a verbose description, so let's go to the shell and see the problem that we had here. Uh, we're going to use the shell plus command from Django extensions and that's going to load in all our models. Now what happens is if I query all the questions in the database, you see that we get a query set and all of the instances are questions. But the problem is that some of these are actually instances of the subclasses, the MC question for multiple choice and the Boolean question for yes and no answers. And the only way to get to the subclass fields such as this is true here on the Boolean question is to go to the query set and we can pick an instance. In this case, I'll get the last instance in the query set. Again, that gives us back a question model. So if we wanted to find out which subclass this is, and by the way, it might not even be a subclass because remember, the question model is now a concrete model that has its own database table. But if we wanted to say, for example, is this a Boolean question? We can query with the lowercase name of that model, Boolean question. That will give us back the instance if it's a Boolean question. And that's because, remember, this related name is what's being queried here. And this gets us from the parent model, which is the question which we're querying over. It gets us from that to the child model, in this case, the Boolean question. But the problem is we don't know just by looking at this model instance, is it a question, is it a multiple choice question or a Boolean question? So for example, if we were to query for a multiple choice question using this lowercase name, we get the error because it's not actually an instance of that question. So let's see now how Django Model Utils can help us with this problem. If we go back to the documentation here, the setup page here on the left, and we can install this library using pip. So I'm going to copy this command and let's paste it into our terminal. So let's exit Django's shell and we'll paste this in here. And that will install the library into our virtual environment here. So now that that's installed, let's go back to the documentation and we can see that to use this particular library, all we need to do is import and use the utility classes provided in the docs. So we don't need to modify installed apps, we can just go directly to what we need here. And what we need to do is replace the default model manager as you can see down here. Now the default model manager in Django, it's the objects. So when we query a particular model, for example, the multiple choice question, we see mcquestion.objects and that's a manager that allows you to query the underlying database. So what we're going to do here is we're going to replace that objects manager with an instance of the inheritance manager as you can see here. So let's copy this line and we're going to paste that into our question model. Remember this should be added to your base model in an inheritance tree. So if we paste that in here and save and of course we need to import the inheritance manager. So let's go to the top here. And this is coming from model utils, which we've just installed. And it's the managers module within that. We can import the inheritance manager from there. So once we've saved that file, we can load up the shell again, and we're gonna query these models now. So if I put question.objects.all, again, we get back the questions here, but this is an inheritance query set. Now, we're gonna see that that adds a particular function to our query set that we're gonna use in a second, but for now, everything is as it was before. We just have question instances, and that's because if we go back to the documentation, right at the bottom here, it says if you don't explicitly call the select subclasses function, then the inheritance manager 
behaves identically to the normal manager that you use in Django models. So it's safe to use the inheritance manager, but what it gives you is this function here, select subclasses and also this get subclass function. And select subclasses is what we're going to use now. And if we scroll up here, we will be able to see what that gives us. And it's this line here. You can call select subclasses, that's a method on your inheritance manager, and the resulting objects will be instances of the proper subclass. So rather than getting all of these questions, if we call select subclasses here with no arguments, we get back the proper models, the multiple choice questions and the Boolean questions in that query set. So we now no longer have that ambiguity about what the subclasses are whether or not they are subclasses. Instead, we just get the correct instances and we can then use the fields directly on them. So if I now call the last method, that gives us back a Boolean question and we can then query, for example, whether or not that's true and we get back true in that case. So to reiterate about select subclasses here, this method will allow you to find out which subclasses, if any, the query set actually contains rather than just giving you back a bunch of question models, we can use this method to get the proper subtypes. Now you can pass arguments to this function as well. So for example, if I go back to the original query, which is this one here, let's say we were only interested in finding out the multiple choice subclasses. We can actually pass an instance of the model here to that query and you see that the query set that we get back has the multiple choice subclasses, but for anything else, in this case, the Boolean question, we just get the question model. So if we pass in models to the select subclasses method, it will make those models concrete if they exist. Otherwise, we will just get question instances for any other subtypes. So that's almost everything for inheritance managers. But if we go back to the documentation, there is one other function that gives you. It's called get subclass. And this is an alternative to the get method that you have in normal managers and basically allows you to convert the instance that you get back into its proper subclass. So let's see how to do that now. So let's go back to VS Code and we're going to find the ID of this last instance here. So let's say dot primary key. So the ID is four and I'm going to now issue a question query. Question dot objects dot get primary key equals four. Now this will return back a question instance, but we want to know what the subtype is. So instead of the get method, we can actually use the get subclass method. And this is a method that's added by the inheritance manager. And you can see that that manifests the result as a Boolean question, which is the proper subtype of this model. And with that, that's all for this video. We've seen how to use the inheritance manager from Django model utils. We can apply that to a parent class within a model inheritance tree. And when you're using multi-table inheritance, that allows you to query against that parent. And when you call the select subclasses method, which is added by the inheritance manager, you get the proper types back for each instance in your query set. And this can save you some work when you're checking the types of your instances. You can immediately check the type and you can access the correct fields based on that type rather than guessing which subtype it is. So this is quite useful and that's all for this video. We will learn more about Django model utils. In particular, it's got some uh, fields that I use quite a lot, such as the status field and monitor field and others. And it also has some models that I find very useful, the time framed model, but in particular, the time stamped model. These are quite basic models, but very useful. But that's all for this video. Thank you for watching and we will see you in a future video.